Boom, baby. Boom. Rise. Shine. Your light into this world. Oh, once we rotate the device. All right, we'll keep it on the morning marijuana motivation since it's so beautiful to watch the sunrise. Let me get in this message while you shine your light into the world. I wanted to thank all the volunteers yesterday, right? The volunteers came out and helped make a difference. And it was by them giving that we received the best form of energy, and that's kindness. See, everybody loves something. I love waking up and doing this show. Most people love their kids. Most people love travel. It becomes something for us all. And as I was rising this morning, I was like, I can't wait to do this message because these guys gave so much with so little it made me proud it made me so proud to get up and rise this morning and talk about people that have you know cars that need paint jobs and work full-time jobs and go out there and feed the homeless even though it's a hundred plus degrees outside they're still out there doing it and i'm so grateful so many people are receiving their happiness and they're not sharing it and it bugs me it bugs me that they're on the boat with the steak and we're outside feeding the homeless and it's not that I wanted to take moments away from anyone that's not the case at all I wanted them to share it that's how we're gonna fix poverty that's how we're gonna fix hunger is we're gonna share our way through it just like when we were kids it's by giving that we receive you know we can have the cake all by ourselves, but unless we get to see the other person's face when they eat it, we're not shining. And that's what I wanted to do this morning as I wanted this sun to shine on you like it shines on us all. Say, I feel blessed. I feel blessed that these people show up and they volunteer and they give us their all. There's so many people that selfishly keep their love to themselves. You know, they'll, they'll selectively choose who they love. They'll They'll go for something like their sports team or animals or whatever they feel is the necessity of giving when they feel like giving. And that's why I made Saints Giving an app that was flexible, right? You can give somebody a toe, jumper cables. You can give your time. I keep coming up with alternative ways of making ourselves happy. And uh, it wasn't an external thing. It wasn't drugs. It came from an internal thing, and that was giving. It's such a blessing to even get the message out. It's such a blessing to watch people give and care as much as I do. See, we all care about something. That's that selective love I'm talking about. But for the real lovers, the real givers out there, there is no limit. There's not going to be an amount of money you could pay somebody without respecting them. Right, And there's not an, an, an amount of love that's too much for something that you love. And these people love to give like me. It was just such a feeling that they're having their friends make sandwiches and, you know, showing up with uh, clothes um, from their work. And other people are volunteering behind the scenes to help give. And it was just an overwhelming feeling. I got caught on the live talking to the gentleman directly because that's what it is but what I really wanted to say was it's in giving that we receive you know once you have it right that's the first thing I wanted to do once I was traveling was to share that experience you know I was like it's not enough that I'm the one that got to go to the Great Wall of China more people should travel and that's what we did travel by saints and those people that travel should get back to the places that they travel to it's a fully cyclical thing so if you have education teach share that if you have passion give share that share your heart share your love let us know how much you love like share with people the amount of love that you have in your heart and let's talk about real real love ain't bought it's shared
Maybe we need a shared over bot shirt. That'll be a good Saints Anarchy shirt, but shared over bot. You can't buy your friends. You share your experiences with them. And overall feeling for me, especially on the Great Wall of China, was like, I'm doing selfies. I need to like let more people know about this thing. This thing was built by more people than me. And uh, I'm selfishly just traveling and doing it by myself. So then that's when I decided to include more people and to do this show. And let more people know in on the psychology, saint psychology of just what it makes a saint a saint. And now it's just care. <laughs> it's simple love. And it's still my religion. I practice it every day. You should practice it every day when you rise. And that's why I did this show. It's like, get this energy inside your heart. Get the love back into life. It's worth everything. I don't care who you are, how much, and whatever, or where it's at. If it didn't have love included, it wasn't worth it. So be blessed this morning. Go love on someone. Go be a saint. That's what we do. And we go sprinkle our love all over these people, no matter what the situation is. Love finds a way. It's in that vibe that we become our best selves. So change for the better. That's what saints do. That's your morning marijuana motivation. And if you got anything out of this show, be a giver too. Saintsgiving.com. We killed it yesterday. Fed the homeless in the hot heat. It was so hot. It's 95 degrees, but we made a difference. And with that difference, we shine. That's just what saints do. So, on my heart from the start, it's your morning marijuana motivation. If you got anything out of this, I'll see you on the other side. Peace and love. Chigapan. <laughs>